people were amazed and people were, they were God smart to see the, the leader of all the Muslims. They were, they were God smart to see that he was walking while his slave was sitting on top of the camel. My dear Islam brothers, this is my today's topic, will be about legends of Islam. But we need to learn a lesson from these people. We need to learn a lesson from these pious people. And that lesson, and all the, the waqiyas which we are going to hear, they are all going to be about simplicity. Because Allah Azza wa in the Quran, He says, Inna akramakum inda Allahi adhaqakum That those who are close to Allah are those who are pious. So piety is the one which will make you closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. Taqwa as it is that, ki Allah Azza wa Jal ki kareem karta hai, aur yehi taqwa hai, ki jis ki wajah se, aaj humare buzurgaan ne deen piyare islam hai ho, itna arsa dunia par hukumat ki islam ne, kis bila par ki taqwa ki wajah se. Aaj piyare islam hai ho, humare andar wo taqwa kaan chala gaya? Why is that taqwa? Why is that piety inside us? If we look at ourselves, and we compare ourselves to Amir al-Mu'mineen, Umar bin Khattab r.a. And if you look at the life of Sayyidina, of the Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq r.a. Hazrat Umar r.a. He says that I, my, my, my routine, that I would walk in the streets of Madinah to Munawara and I would try to help the people. And he says that I was an old woman. I would go and I would tidy her house. I would help her. And then one day he says that when I went to help her because I was a bit late, I saw that everything was fine. Someone else has been into her house. Someone else has been in the house and someone else has done all the washing and all everything. And he says that I'm, I want to see who this person is. And says now, Umar bin Khattab he says that one day I went to be early and I hid myself that no one can see me. He says that I was God smart and I was, I was, I kept on looking at him. It was Amir al-Mu'mineen, Abu Bakr Siddiq who would come early in the morning, he would do all the cleaning of this woman and he would even wash her clothes as well. Yes, Ali Fahmarim. Ye piyare islam hai, yoh woh log hai, ke jin ke baare mein when we listen, when we talk about them, humare jin ke khushi hoti hai, humare iman ka asa hota hai, humare iman ko jina nikhi hai, piyare islam hai, yoh yeh woh log hai, jin ke baare mein Allah Azza wa Jal Quran Paak pe ishaat farmata hai, radhi Allah ta'ala anhu wa radhu anhu, ke Allah in se razi hai, yeh Allah se razi hai, Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Allah. It is about these people, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, balke Quran Paak pe aayi, ان صحابہ اکرام کے بارے میں قرآن پاک میں آیت نازل ہویا وَالَّذِينَ مَا هُوَ شِدَّاءُ وَالْكُفَّارُ رُحَ مَا اُبَيْنَهُمْ He used to be hard and stern on the kuffar. Yet when he came to the Muslims, these صحابہ اکرام were so helpful to one another. اور اتنے اتنے پیارے اسلام بھائی و رفیق اتنے شفیق کے حدیثوں میں آتا ہے روایتوں میں آتا ہے Now when these companions, when they migrated to Madinah to Munawara, I think if someone who came to our house just to live for a few days, we would sometimes find it as a burden. We would 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 find it as a burden. But these Muslims, when the Ansar, when they saw these Sahaba Ikram, these great companions of the Prophet ﷺ, when they came into Medina, it said that these for the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, they went to the Prophet ﷺ and they said, Oh Prophet of Allah, we cannot thank you. We cannot thank you for letting these people come in to live with us. Oh Prophet of Allah, we are ready to sacrifice anything for them. اور یہاں تک آتا ہے اگر ایک صحابی کی دو شادیاں تھی اس صحابی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ نے ایک بیوی کو طلاق دے کر اپنے مہاجر بھائی کو دے دی اور کہاں سے پیارے اسلام بھائی ہو گیا ہے وہ بھی تھی صحابہ اکرام کیا جس جذبہ یہ جذبہ کیا تھا یہ جوش ایمانی تھا یہ شوق تھا یہ دین سے محبت تھی یہ دین سے شوق تھا اور صحابہ اکرام کے اندر this was the love of the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم which was burning inside the heart اور آج اسی وجہ سے دیکھیں چودہ سو سال گزر چکے ہیں فورٹین ہنڈر ڈیوز آف پاس ہوئے لیکن آج پھر بھی آج جب ہم ان کا نام لیتے ہیں یقین مانی ہے ہماری زمان میں مٹھاس پیدا ہوتی ہے آج ان کا نام جب لیتے ہیں بلکہ ان کے بارے میں سوچتے ہیں تو ہم خرام لے جاتے ہیں کہ how was it, how was it possible that these companions of the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and these great people, how did they live their lives? They were like normal humans like us. لیکن کیا وجہ تھی؟ 
کیا وجہ تھی صحابہ اکرام قربانیاں دینے کے لیے تیار تھے اور کیا وجہ ہے آج ہم قربانی دینے کے لیے تیار نہیں ہے دیس کمپنیز بزرگ کے بارے میں سنتے ہیں حضرت سیدنا عمر بن عبد العزیز رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ ہی از نون از کل ہی واز پارٹ اف دی خلفائے راشدین یعنی ان کو خلفائے راشدین میں شمار کیا جاتا ہے حضرت سیدنا عمر بن عبد العزیز رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ ہنی سیز دا حضرت سیدنا عمر بن عبد العزیز رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ بیفور ہی بیکیم دا امیر المومنین بیفور ہی بیکیم دا خلیفہ ہی ووڈ لیو اے ویری ویری لارج لائف اور ہی ہیڈ لوز اف بزنس از ا لوٹ پراپرٹی ہن اس سون از ہی بیکیم دا امیر المومنین
lie. And what was he saying? Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, I am not capable of what you have given me. And Allah Azza wa Jal, tu ne mujhe ye musulmanu ki amir mu'minin to bana diya. Mujhe is qabal bhi bana diya. Pyaare isna wa ye kitni aajsi thi. Or kitni, wo kya kya? Ke dana khak mein milkar gule gulzaar hoonta hai. Dana khak mein milkar when you put a seed inside the soil, you gotta put it inside the soil and then when it grows, कितना खूबसूरत फूल निकलता है कितना बड़ा दरख्त है और यही इन खुलाफाए राशिदीन का अंदाजा था कि दे वर सो सिंपल दे वर सो हंगर एंड यार अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह व्हेन यू केम टू रनिंग अ कंट्री व्हेन यू केम टू रनिंग द अफेयर्स ऑफ द मुस्लिम्स दी सहाबाए इकराम दे प्रूव दैट नो वन एल्स वाज बेटर देन देम